OK, I'm going to do a couple of examples of subtracting fractions. We're going to start with 2 thirds minus a quarter. OK, so just as when we're adding fractions, we have to first work out what's on the bottom. And what's on the bottom is going to be the two bottom numbers multiplied together. So in this case, it's going to be 3 by 4. On the next one, it's going to be 3 by 4. On the top, just as we did when we were adding fractions, on top of the first one, we put this number multiplied by this one. So that's going to be 2 by 4. And then on top of this one, it's going to be this number multiplied by this one. So that's going to be, whoa, 1 by 3. OK. Now let's multiply those out. So that gives me 12 on the bottom, 12 on the bottom here. Up on the top here, two fours are eight. And on the bottom here, it's going to be, on the top here, it's going to be one by three. So that's going to be three. Now we've got the same thing on the bottom of both fractions and we can just go ahead with our subtraction. So that's eight minus three, which gives me five over 12. OK, now to do another example, which is slightly more complicated because we're going to be taking a larger fraction away from a smaller fraction. So the answer is going to be negative. But let's see how that works. So let's take, um, let's have a third here. And let's take, um, Three sevenths away. Okay. Actually, I don't like that because we have two threes there, which is a little confusing. Let's take four sevenths away. Okay. So first of all, on the bottom, we multiply the two bottom numbers. So that's going to be three by seven. Bottom here, it's going to be three by seven. On the top here, Again, it's going to be 1 by 7. The top number there multiplied by the bottom there. So that's going to be 1 by 7. And then on the top here, it's going to be this number multiplied by this. So that's going to be 4 by 3. OK, working those out, we've got 7 here. 3 sevens of 21 on the bottom. On the bottom of the next one, we've got 21. And on the top of this one, we've got 4 threes, which are 12. OK, we're now trying to subtract 12 from 7. And remember, we encountered this before when we were doing whole numbers. The way you do it is you take the 7 from the 12 and you put a minus in front of the answer. We do exactly the same thing. 7 from 12 leaves me with 5, and I put a minus in front of it. So it's minus 5 over 21. OK, that's how we subtract fractions.